All right, Coach. Um, obviously, you got one game under your belt, uh, a road game, you know, kind of feeling out the process of, of this team with a lot of new faces this year. Heading into this home opener, kind of what is the mentality of this team and what have you seen over the last week of practice that you really like? Well, uh, I love how we're continuing to uh, compete um, every single day. You know, one of our goals is to get 1% better every day. Um, obviously, we've added some new pieces uh, to our team in the last, uh, you know, 48 hours, which will uh, help us, um, you know, try to get this win uh, Friday and Saturday. How do you, speaking of those new guys, you know, you're getting two guys from the Pacers. You got EK uh, for another game at least. Um, you've added Ben, who you knew about uh, from last year. How do you mold it all when you're trying to put together, you know, a team that's only played one game under their belt? Now you guys have even more pieces to work in. Well, you know, I've been telling these guys it's it's just like a, a, a football team. You know, we have receivers, you have running backs, um, everyone needs to run their route. So one of the things that the Pacers and, and, and we do is we run the same system, both offensively and defensively. So guys are putting in the spots, they need to execute. You know, obviously there's chemistry involved, and these guys get to know, uh, need to know, you know, who they're playing with and, and who likes the ball where and stuff. So we've been playing a lot of uh, game situations the last two days. We'll play it here in the arena so guys get used to the lights. There's a lot of guys who've never been here. So just trying to get them familiar uh, as possible. With Edmund, last year, you know, it was he was out for the beginning of the season working his way back from the knee injury. Um, what do you see different this year? I mean, has he just been able to kind of pick up where he left off and, you know, be a little bit ahead of where he was last year? Is that what you see? Yeah, definitely. I mean, one, he's, he's healthy now. And uh, you know he's he's got a taste. Uh, he's had a, he had a great summer league, great preseason. Um, one of the one of the best two-way players uh, in, in all in the entire league um, in preseason. And uh, he's hungry. Um, you know he he's a he's an NBA talent, NBA uh, point guard, and c can play off the ball. And uh, he has a lot to prove uh, to a lot of guys. Um, you know throughout the throughout the world. So uh, he's got a he's got a little grudge, and uh, I love it. And uh, he, he's bringing it here with the Mad Ants, and it's great. And guys are really feeding off of it. Ben obviously had a great season last year. What does he bring to this team other than, you know, that, that scoring above the rim kind of punch? Yeah, Ben, uh, he, he can do a lot of things. Um, you know, he's uh, both offensively and defensively. Um, you know, he, he can play multiple positions. Um, he brings a, a different look for us um, on both ends. Uh, you know, he can handle it. He can pass. Uh, you know he's he's continuing to uh, improve his jump shot, um, and that's one thing he needs to uh, you know be more consistent with. But uh, he's a winner. I mean, he won us a lot of games last year um, towards the end, both uh, getting to the free throw line and, and, and making you know getting an offensive rebound and defensively getting a stop. So he's a huge part of our success, and uh, we're very fortunate to have Ben back. For you, um, getting a chance to coach in the summer league for the Pacers summer league team, what do you take away from that experience, and what? from that experience makes you a better coach as you enter your fourth season as the head coach of the Mad Ants? I think the biggest thing is uh, getting to know these players a little bit more. You know, obviously, uh, um, you know, Edmund being with us and EK, um, you know, last year. And then, you know, Ben was on the uh, summer league team. And then our new draft picks, um, Alizé and then Aaron Holiday. So, you know, getting to know those guys and, and uh, you know, just from a personal level and then seeing what they can do on the floor. And uh, when they are assigned or, or they are with us, um, you know, there's a, there, there's a common ground to that. And uh, it was great just to get to know them and, and see what they can do. And, and I'm very honored to, to, to have led that team in, in the summer league. And hopefully we can continue to get, get going here. It seems like, you know, every year that goes forward, the, the Pacers seem to use you guys a little bit more, or there seems to be even more of a relationship. Um, do you see that? kind of evolving a little bit more this season. It seems like they are um, more invested in what you guys are doing and sending guys down and keeping them down. I, don't, I shouldn't say down, but keeping them here to develop them a little bit more maybe than they have in years past. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things we've uh, we've already discussed is uh, you know a player development plan for these guys, and uh, we're going we're going to that plan. Everything that the Pacers want to do, we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, we run the same offense, same defense. Uh, we run the same drills, so it's an easy transition for these guys. And uh, you know, we have a call every week uh, to talk about whoever's assigned and whoever's with us. So uh, you know, constant communication, which is huge. And uh, you know, we're, I'm just we're very fortunate to uh, to have great people you know in Indy to to help with us. All right. Anything else uh, you'd like to add? Uh, really excited about this weekend. We need is we need this Coliseum packed uh, Friday and Saturday. It's going to be huge. We'll see some uh, former Mad Ants uh, that we're going against Walt Lemon Jr. on Ooh. Saturday, uh, and you know playing against Maine, and uh, it's going to be tough. So uh, we need we need we need all the help we can get out here uh, with our fans.